Welcome, everyone. Thanks for uh, listening and watching. Uh, kind of a tradition here on the show is to do our year-end uh, Christmas show. I don't Merry like using Christmas, Merry everyone. Christmas. I use the word show twice. I see everybody <laughs> get all festive. See, I'm all prepped for Christmas in my red flannel. I'm not exactly festive. I have green and red. Ooh. I'm all camo. And Owen, I, Owen's I was... Owen's invisible. You're over always there. on camo. <laughs> I, I was going to get to that. It's like... Owen had the camo up for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing he didn't do was uh, paint his face. Yeah, we need know, some black right? paint. We should have got you oh. some Christmas camo. Or so like if, those neck gator things. And yeah, 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 some of that. face thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Owen's like, Christmas break. We haven't done any hunting yet. Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, every year we like to come together and as we wrap up the year and, and uh, talk about some of our family traditions. And uh, we've got the bell, the buzzer. Go ahead and test that. Okay, you can hear that. So you, we usually do a what a Christmas trivia type game that Angela yeah. sets up. So she's got that as well. Owen cheated last year. I won. What? No. How did I cheat? I don't know. You remember what happened last year, and they're still on. <laughs> this is, they're right back in the moment from last yeah. year. I don't remember what happened last year. What happened? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? You just know you that somebody. I just said I didn't know. Oh, I, I didn't hear that. I think I've we been... need to get a ruler and like measure this bell. I'm pretty sure it's closer <laughs> to him. It should be more like over here. Is this thing? Is this thing official? Is this official uh, tradition? Uh, Christmas standard. Yeah, Christmas standard game bell. Game bell. <laughs> no, but yeah, we're we're looking forward to Christmas. Looking forward to some time off, as I know many of you are as well. Um, we usually head on down to Camp Verde for a while. We head to Phoenix. We kind of do all the runs around the, the state to visit people mm -hmm. um you know by the time we get to christmas it's usually like we've had four christmas isn't there a movie four christmases or something oh yeah there is a movie <laughs> they go yeah. to all the different family wings yeah, sometimes and stuff. like two or three sometimes before christmas day yeah you know because yeah. some times we'll host at our house with family before christmas and it's good it's so, good it's yeah. about family this time of year yep and uh angela's got some fact any factoids we should know about christmas you've been pulling them together yeah um she well, wasn't prepared. I was. That's just not the order you said we were going to oh, do. So. Well, as you know, after doing the show going into the eighth year, there is no I schedule. pull yeah. the audibles all the time. I know. <laughs> Angela, Angela is always so uh, orderly, and I'm just like, okay, let's rearrange this. On yeah, the go. well, I'm just a very like linear, you know, like <laughs> I, ch check mark person. So that's just me. Oh, and you're, you're kind of like that too. Huh? It's like <laughs> A to B. To see, he and didn't then, expect the topic change. He didn't have his list ready. Yeah, and well, then me, and and sometimes like the change of plans throws pe certain people off. And oh yeah, I no, you just roll with it. Me and Olivia are more like like chaos exploded. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's the way it should be. Order is like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so where does the word Christmas come from? I mean, obviously Christ is in it, but what's the end? Oh, I, I don't think we're to that part yeah. of it. This is uh, not the trivia. Yeah, but. we're not we're not keeping track <laughs> just yet. What does that mean, kind of in a literal way? Christmas. Well, it means mass on Christ's day. Well, I thought you were going to let them answer. You know, well, I don't think they knew. Oh, well, we, we were thinking. We were but gonna, you didn't give us a chance. I know, there was no chance. We need a redo. So, say that again. Mass <laughs> on Christ, Christ's oh. day. Okay. That makes, Christmas. that makes sense. It's some kind yeah. of Latin derivative or something. I, I think so, yeah. yeah everything but comes from, mass is from Latin. In the Catholic Church, mainly. Yeah. Mass sure. on Christ's day. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you have to, you have to I say. I was going to do that. You I have to say what is now. or what is the Jeopardy thing. Oh, you know, the other. What, yeah, you forgot to say what is. What is it? Oh, Olivia gets the point. Ding, ding, ding. Winner. Wait, 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 wait. Because I get confused because in our society, and I, I won't make this too political on Christmas, but um, a lot of people are a bit confused as to Christmas. They think it's just kind of like a day well, to exchange Well, it's become a very presents. secular holiday, meaning <laughs> and, there's and, no yeah, religious commercialized. Uh, influence in a lot of yeah. uh, people that celebrate. There's people that celebrate it that do it for no religious mm reason really they just it's a secular thing it's yeah. just like a cultural thing now yeah yeah I was, so yeah it's kind of a loaded question and comment but yeah yeah, yeah so. well i mean we we all know people like yeah, that right i mean it's fine yeah. teach teach their own i guess yeah. um okay uh some family traditions uh we'll let you start because you've been yeah kind of the driver behind this hour of the programming yeah you're messing well, up the schedule again, Dan. I know. I know. We're we'll going back. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to factoids. Be okay, ready so, for that. Be, um, be scared. <laughs> uh, well, well, mainly focus around Christmas Eve, what we do. And, like, we track Santa on the computer, you know, and you see where he's at. And his we do. Track, 
Yeah. <laughs> like, are you serious? Oh. Isn't he like maybe always you're... flying over the Eiffel Tower? Oh yeah, no, the he's Eiffel Tower. always flying over Iceland. It's, oh yeah, yeah. That's why every time we look, he really likes Iceland. Well, it's cold, you know, so it's like he doesn't want to get too south too quick because yeah. it heats up and affects the uh, running of the reindeer. Uh-huh. So, okay, I maybe like a, that sort of thing. You That's like it. Fine. Maybe Olivia's phasing it okay, out. Okay, maybe know, we don't need to track him no, anymore. No, do you want to still track <laughs> him? I don't remember yeah. tracking him. Yeah, I, I remember for I, the past like two last years. Where have you been for before? 14 Christmases? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you were okay. up on me. Also, I like listening to Olivia's recount of the story of Rudolph. I don't like that. That oh, should not a be a tradition. Oh, I don't know why that I, is. I, why are you giving dad ideas? I know how I am not prepared. It's so I, cute. I, I She's got, like seven or eight years old, and yeah. and she talks about how Rudolph was getting bullied. I don't see how this is fair. And how. You know, there's the whole kind of story. Okay, yeah. so, uh, since for some reason I'm not prepared with that, I usually play that as an annual tradition. And, yeah. you know, she did that years ago. Um, this may be the break point right here where I insert that. All right, uh, joining me to discuss this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer controversy is my nine-year-old daughter, Olivia. And... Olivia, maybe let's step back for a second. I assume everybody's seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, as you have, and you and I have seen it many times. Maybe tell the listeners real quick the story of Rudolph. Well, a red-nosed reindeer is born, and everybody teases him for his nose, and so he runs off because he's sad. He meets some friends, but he's afraid that he's attracting the abominable snow monster. When his family comes to look for him, the abominable snow monster takes them to his cave, and it's up to Rudolph and his friends to save them. And in the end, when they all come back, everybody's a little nicer to Rudolph, and he gets, since Christmas is a really stormy time that year, he gets to lead the sleigh through the fog, because his nose is bright. So, because he was unique, he got to lead the sleigh? Yes! Okay, do you think that they were mean to Rudolph? I mean, nowadays, uh, if you were in school and somebody was treating one of your classmates like that, um, you'd be mad, you'd be upset, right? Yeah. And, I mean, everybody was mean to Rudolph. Mm-hmm. Like? Everybody except Clarice. Clarice. Uh, little and, duh. And uh, her, is it Hermie? Hermie. Hermie, too. And Hermie was even, was Hermie picked on? Yeah, for be, wanting to be a dentist. <laughs> wanting there's, to be different. There, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a dentist. <laughs> no. Do you think the story was mean, or do you think the story had a meaning and a, a point? A, from your perspective, what was the point of the story? I think it's actually teaching p- kids a lesson. Like, don't tease people for being different, because everybody has something they're good at. All right. Olivia's perspective on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, a classic uh, that's come under some controversy. Thanks, sweetie. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is a good one. Well, I like watching. We usually uh, Christmas Eve day or towards the evening, yeah. towards the late afternoon. Yeah, like dinner time after dinner. Yeah, usually we, we usually whip up something and then we take it out and we watch um, a, a, Christmas a, Christ, story. a Christmas story. Yeah, you'll shoot your eye out, <laughs> Owen. No, actually, that's me because at Thanksgiving we had a. A BB, you almost did shoot a BB competition, and uh-huh. the, the shot ricocheted right back to my firing finger, and I almost shot my out eye out and on Thanksgiving. So I love that movie. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite. Yeah, Owen, oh, what Christmas. do you like? Um, for a movie, or movies anything. are traditional things that we mm. do in our house. Mm. Okay, we'll pass to Ro- it. No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay, you can go. <laughs> roast beef and barley salad. Oh, roast prime beef and barley salad. salad. I like oh, prime rib. Oh, prime rib. Yeah. Roast prime beef rib. salad. Yeah. I already have the prime rib. It's in the fridge. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the prime rib and lobster tails. I like the monkey bread in the morning. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Are we not getting lobster tails? Well, I can't eat lobster, so I don't cook it. Sorry. Just not. Uh, I I have the cameras on, and I was just, like, feeling something on my knee, and the dog (laughs) is... Is is acting very strange. She she's got her. Like she's, that you made her wear. She's a got sweater. her Christmas sweater. Maybe it's we'll a pop a picture tight. up for you for a Addy or dog. <laughs> Addy doesn't like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Back to um, a factoid. Give me a, give me a factoid here um, that maybe been people don't know. A holiday, federal holiday here, only since 1870. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Huh. 
Hmm. There wasn't a lot of federal workers in 1870s. So yeah. Was everybody... True. Was everybody allowed to day off or was it just like the, um, what do we have, 1,800 federal workers back then? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like, if yeah. I was to guess that, I would have guessed way earlier than the late, Oh, uh, yeah, later I think that Washington, would have, that would have yeah. been his, one of his first actions. Yeah, was but there was Christmas. always debate on whether, you know, we should or not. And then there was the influence of mm. um, different cultures that maybe didn't celebrate that and so oh, yeah that's certainly changed like I in jamestown they did but in plymouth they didn't and so i guess they just couldn't agree on whether to do it we so, don't do as a family we don't do like the christmas presents christmas eve or anything like that no um, that's that's lame we always wait but then again we have the four christmases w with like family members so we wind up opening yeah, presents at, at those events before, anyways. Yeah. yeah absolutely okay what else you got um well i was reading about how they chose the date December 25th because it's not documented in the New Testament what day December Jesus was 25th. Actually Did you just born. say September? December. Oh, December. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so well, they kind of decided that they needed to have a day. And they, I mean, there's different theories on how they came up with that. But Pope Julius I was actually the one that chose that. Okay. And um, they kind of already had festivals and stuff in Rome, kind of centered around that time of year, like the winter beginning and the sun kind of coming out longer mm -hmm. right around that time of year. And then they already had um, stuff honoring the God of Saturn for agriculture and, and well, honoring Mark children and the resurgence type birth of the sun again. And so that's, that's kind of why. Well, Mark Howitt, Mark Howitt talked about this yeah. on, on a recent show, and um, he's done lots of biblical studies, yeah. and mm -hmm. and he is settled on, and he is satisfied with De uh, December 25th as the, the birth of Jesus Christ. Um, there's some debate as to the exact date. Yes. I mean, the calendar's been altered a little bit well, over time as well. Still today, there's different calendars well, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, associated yeah. with different countries and different religions, and they all follow kind of sometimes different dates. Yeah, he too. said, well, though, that he was pretty comfortable with that 20 like 23rd to like the first or second it was kind of like a seven yeah. eight day uh period that they, he was talking about when jesus was born wasn't there like the north star or something or this there was the star the bright star was that yeah. the north and star and then didn't that come back like a few years ago in december so that like so, so it solidified december 25th that's well, as good I as any thought yeah. um that they like knew the festivals or whatever that were like mentioned in the Bible around that time period. Yeah, Maybe. that's what I was saying and, is um, they already did that. And so they kind of wanted to like keep it in that same yeah. time also. And it made sense with. No, they just things. knew that that date was like around that time yeah. because it was mentioned like after the birth or before or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. That, yeah. That Christian school's paying off already. They know more than us at this point. Imagine a couple more years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll just be hosting this show while we're off in uh, <laughs> uh, Mexico or Hawaii somewhere. <laughs> we did have a great time in Hawaii this year, too. That was a kind of an early yeah, Christmas fun. present, 25th anniversary. Yeah, so, yeah but our was, anniversary kind of falls at a good time of year because it's in yeah, right, right school kind of the end of spring and beginning of Oh, we of planned summer. it that way. School's no. out. And... You know, yeah, I mean, we were, we, like I know people that get married on December 19th or something like that. And then you'd have Christmas anniversary, break, Christmas yeah. or birthday. Well, or whatever, we certainly the same we, kind of time. we certainly weren't thinking about that at the time. No, no, no. <laughs> it just but it, uh, it is of, convenient now. Yeah. Yeah. OK, <laughs> so. I, I want to get more uh, factoids and uh, traditions and get into a history of uh, St. Nicholas. Mm -hmm. Angela's researched that as well. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year coming up. Hey, I, I really do appreciate all of our sponsors. I'm not going to do, you know, regular sponsors during the program, but I do want to mention, um, you know, some of the great sponsors that we have. Angela's leaving. She's like, I'm done. I'm protesting I Christmas 23. Um, Diamond Auto Glass has been a great sponsor and you get your windshield repaired and, and fixed there and th those rock chips. Uh, Diamond Auto Glass glass here's the website the difference is clear.com um also uh kelly broadus with the broadest properties group brokered by exp uh kelly you're looking to buy or sell a home 
top notch, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, she she For knows sure. her stuff, uh, and you can get a hold of Kelly. I should have had all these listed and up. Here's Kelly's. I'll just give you the website: Northern Arizona Fine Homes dot com for Kelly Broadus. Uh, also, my good buddy Glenn Least at WT Wealth Management. Uh, talking finance, talking stocks, things like that. You want somebody to go over portfolio and you know give him a call. Glenn Least nine two eight two two five twenty four seventy four. And and one more here, and I'll get to my other great sponsors here in just a bit. Desert Gold Exchange, longtime sponsor on the program. You know, we've always liked to own a little bit of physical gold and silver. Uh, we can go back to biblical times, and gold and silver was pretty popular yeah back then as well right probably silver probably silver and some people had gold but that was just like now some people have gold <laughs> most people don't desert gold exchange uh here's the number for them 888-852-4343 okay what'd you what'd you come up with uh well i just got the prize for the game oh We're the prize play. for the game okay yeah. any more factoids or we, we have we moved past the factoid yeah part of the program that, i think okay let's get into um history of St. Nicholas, um, what, we, what time frame? Go, go ahead and where, yeah, so, where did this originate? Um, he was actually born in Turkey in the year 270 CE. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. wait. Which, which <laughs> CE is now the new thing? It's called Common. No, 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 we don't, we don't go. We've had a whole, <laughs> we, we've had a whole segment on the show about this. Okay, so CE. Yeah, we, yeah, BC or AD? It's BC. No. Or AD. No, AD. 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 That's the same as AD? Yeah, so okay. what'd you say to what? 270. So 270 AD, All right. which stands for after, well, we, we say after, after death. death. No, that's death. not what it stands for. No, but we, that's, that's, that's. The, well, that's what the simple version, the but simple you're version. like, oxygen. Well, it, it means it, in it, the it, year it. of our Lord. Okay, it's is it like Latin. a Latin thing? Okay, yeah. never mind. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know Latin. <laughs> It's like Amias de <laughs> blah, 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 or something. A dead language. But do, you, do you know the, the exact pronunciation? Of the Latin word? Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, but okay, AD. But we go with AD. So anyway, okay. two, sorry. 270 AD 270 in Turkey. AD. Myra, Turkey. Okay. But he's actually buried in southern Italy right now. Oh, okay. Um, like the boot area of Italy, if anyone can visualize where Italy is, the very southern part, okay. coastal town. At the very bottom of the boat, like where the toe would normally go? No, like the heel of the boot. The heel of the boot, okay. <laughs> um, so he's in the Basilica di San Nicola in okay. Bari, Bari, Italy. Okay. Yeah, it's kind Never of a small of town. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. a really small place, but like people, Christians especially from all over the world go to visit this basilica. Oh, okay. All right. It's kind of interesting. Southern there. Italy. And so you, you're, you're heading to Italy shortly. Yeah, um, we're but stopping you're not in, in Rome in for Rome. a couple of days yeah. on the way to Athens. Maybe take a side trip. Go on down. I know there. if it was convenient, like I don't know, it'd be kind of, it would be kind of interesting to go. Well, parts of him may be elsewhere. So yeah, I heard about seventy five percent of him actually resides in Italy. That is but so sad because people somebody took used to rob Saint, graves and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. So I don't have the entire skeleton, but about seventy five percent. Imagine that. Imagine um, that. Anyways, the, some of the people, like the people there in the town, are kind of on the fence whether they really want to commercialize this or not you know some of them are kind of very anti-consumerism whatever is associated with christmas christmas now yeah especially in the western world but some people really want to like hey we, we should advertise this place and get more people going here because yeah. you know well that's how it was in and you know bethlehem was pretty well advertised and they actually heard they were taking their christmas I know, isn't that decorations sad? down for yeah. the season because of everything going on there but anyway in this little town they do do celebrations um around december 5th they have parades and food and concerts and things like that to honor saint nick yeah and he um was kind of known for uh he's there's a lot of images of him bearing gifts and he was known for um like helping women especially mm, okay and there's legends of him like f tossing a gold coin or two to someone that might Back not to that have gold though and <laughs> that someone like a woman who does who's engaged to be married but doesn't have a dowry and doesn't have money for a nice wedding and so that would help them have a nice wedding so now many unmarried women pray to him to find a husband. Find me a man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's seen as a protector <laughs> of women and children. Yeah. And that's kind of why the image of him has the association it has today. With, of, with Christmas. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. That, yeah. I did not know that. 
I yeah. did not know that. I knew about some German uh, stories and, and mm-hmm. all that, and we're, you know, we, we'll keep it so we don't um, tarnish things, you know. Yeah, well, as, the kind of the Santa that we see nowadays is, is a little different, I think, than yeah, it used yeah, to be, and that's yeah. just because well, of... A little, little heavier. Yeah, <laughs> and the, the red coat came from, like, Coca-Cola. Oh, doing, really? Doing that on an advertisement. Oh, mm-hmm. well, that's interesting. At least that's what, yeah. what I've read. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Uh, again, we wish everyone a Merry Christmas. We're kind of hitting on our, our uh, family traditions and all that. And, uh, you know, you ever want to send me a contact. I love hearing from you. Talk with Jeff at iCloud.com. I want to get to trivia because that gets a little um, rambunctious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a waiting little, for this. A little, uh, yeah, intense. Uh, absolutely. Uh, as I thank our sponsors as well, like the Blind Brothers. Uh, they've been with us for a long time. The BlindBrothers.com. You need new blind shutters or shades. Uh, Kim Dawson at Nova Home loans just google uh kim dawson nova home loans and uh, she can help you out if you're you know doing refinancing things like that uh thanks to crazy country boys um they do auto services right in flagstaff crazy country boys had to use them a couple times this year yeah, unfortunately had, think, two cars over there yeah there. had a couple yeah. tow things going on mm-hmm. where i had to bring it over they got it all fixed up of course sportsman's bar and grill they, great food four dollar menu there mm-hmm. um, if you get tired of maybe maybe you got a lot of company over and you're like i just need a few minutes <laughs> <laughs> i'm heading out over the over the sportsman's uh and then fresh roof of northern arizona as well if you, like, check out their coating system if you're looking at possibly needing a uh, a brand new roof um this might help you help you a bit so all right let's come back with uh trivia yeah that's that's zippy game. <laughs> getting ready do, do, all do, energized do. for it I don't know this music. It's just, we have to go with uh, generic stuff um, because of the internet. You know, sometimes we'd pull the traditional stuff for the radio, but. That can't so be on the podcast. Us. Yeah, can, and, and, and I get lazy this time of year and I don't want to edit out things. So <laughs> anyway, hang tight. We'll be back in just a minute. marveling at the Christmas music this year. It, it's something. <laughs> this sounds like it would be on a baking show or something. <laughs> that last one? That's I don't even know thinking. what that was. That was like ice cream truck music or something. <laughs> oh, Every time I hear that bell, I think of Breaking Bad. I don't want to bring a, a non-Christmas type thing into this, but... Uh, and those of you who've seen that know what I'm talking yeah. about. I wouldn't put that... That's uh, probably worse than Die Hard as the uh, Christmas movie. Yeah. You know, I like Die Hard, though. That's still... <laughs> that's been the number one Christmas movie for so many people, mm-hmm. right? Oh, did I just steal mm-hmm. one of your trivia uh, questions here? No. Your trivia game. You're listening to <laughs> the, our Orbitz family Christmas special that we do every year. Um, short Isabel this year. because She's yeah, we pretty just frantic right out. now with work, and she's got a big uh, trip planned coming up here. <laughs> I got my son Owen, my daughter Olivia, and my wife Angela, and and the dog, the family dog Addie as well. And we we wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year coming up as well. Okay, what do you got? What is, okay, am so I in on this or no? You just stole just my back. joke because I was like, oh, okay, no. first up, Die Hard, <laughs> and then I was gonna be like, <laughs> waiting for you to what? And, okay, uh, well, I'm sorry. We don't have Die Hard movie. If, if we trivia. did heavy post production, we could just put that in. Let's, here, let's do that. <laughs> Okay, on to um, Angela with the um, with the trivia. Go ahead. Okay, first movie, Die Hard. Ooh. Whoa. No, no. No, Never not, seen that not, one coming. Not, not Die Hard. Okay. First one is Rudolph, the book slash movie. Oh, Can we Olivia's, have our hand up by it? Um, Put your hand right by it. You, we You're are not, not in doing on this, that. so you need to oh, keep okay. track. Hang on, I'm going to disappear and get a pencil. Yeah. Okay, first question. What is the name of the town Rudolph and the others live in? Christmas Town. Very good. Christmas Town. Ha. Isn't that the song? Something about Christmas. No, no that's no. that's that's the Grinch, huh? What? No. no. Okay. okay. So next. I'm confused with his music. What job does Yukon Cornelius have? Oh, Owen. that's Owen. We got it on video, he, too. Um, like, he's a minor? Yeah, prospector. Yeah, prospector. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. That's close got the wrong word. No, I accept minor. I accept oh. that. I All accept right. that. Name a toy on the island of misfit toys. Uh, Olivia's hands the are first. The train with square wheels. Very good. Oh, come on. That was an easy oh, one. Oh, and do you have one? <laughs> um, Yeah, the jack-in-the-box. It's not called the jack-in-the-box. 
Well, the doll. Charlie the baby and the doll. Box. Oh, it's the Charlie in the box. Charlie That's right. The baby doll. I yeah. love that scene on Elf with Will Ferrell where he's. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Bef- box yeah, he's. They can't put this guy anywhere. If you never. This is well worth watching if you've never seen Elf at this point. Yeah. They can't figure out what to do with this giant. So they put him in the job of checking every jack in the box <laughs> to see if it works. But he's scared of it. And so, so he's, he's got like these waiting. piles of like a hundred jack in the boxes and he's got to uh, twist hilarious. it and yeah. see if it works. <laughs> yeah. do, 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 do. And then it doesn't yeah. pop up. It's like scared each time. Yeah, I think I would want that one that like did it after like a few seconds yeah. after the song yeah, ended. Yeah, it's broken. Yeah. Her daughter Isabel's kind of like uh, Elf because she goes to Walmart or somewhere now and people in the store ask her for help getting yeah, stuff up high. Yeah, off, off the so, top that's shelf. Good. <laughs> that's good. That's a skill set there. Okay. Okay, last question for this Last question? One. No, for oh, this okay, I was gonna say, topic. We, we got another 10 minutes. <laughs> you, you should know this. What's the name of the king of the toys? Oh, come on. Olivia. I, um, The king of boys. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> of Misfit Toys? No. no he wait, has a name. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh King. no. Remember right. Alex Trebek yeah. on Jeff? Oh no. Owen, do you, uh, know Owen it? do you know it? The King. What's his name? Um, I know it. I know it. Mm-hmm. I also know it. Oh, I thought you'd know this like mm-hmm. real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not healthy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Here, Jeff, here. do you know it? Maybe I can give you something here. Some more great. Also, it's not healthy. That's not helping. Um, when the music sense. stops, you have to have an answer, Owen. Mm-hmm. It does sound like a game show. <laughs> the it's king. Like, no. Okay, okay. No. His okay. name is Moonracer. Moonracer. Oh, I never heard of that. I yeah. never heard. That. My mind okay. was still two to one. Owen's. We're not going to say where my mind was going. Okay, two next. to one. Owen's in the lead. Grinch. Oh wait, I think I put the point on the wrong one. I put it on. Yeah, Owen. only have one point. Wait, oh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> next, you guys both start with O. Next is the Grinch. Kay. The Grinch who stole Christmas. What's the name of the town there? Owen. Oh, <laughs> darn it. Who town? Whoville. Whoville. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Okay. But okay. okay. Oh, three to one now. Town. What's the name of the mountain where Grinch's home is? You must Mount No. Uh. Well, you guys Mount. are awful. Wait, I know it. I could like recite the book. Mount. It is not helping. Nope. No. You guys are awful. Mount Crumpet. I said cool. Oh, yeah. That was close. Oh, yeah. 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 Very, very close. Not enough. Very okay. Close. <laughs> What's next? Grinch is described in what three words? Oh, come on. Stink, stink, stunk. Very good. Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another one, Olivia. Ooh, oh, and you got to step up your game, buddy. Don't move the bell. Okay, okay ready? Okay, let's have a calm down. This happened last year, too, and yeah, we almost we had, had to this, take a break. We had so to take a break, show. yeah. <laughs> Owen, put your hand flat on the okay. table. Oh, it's no fair. He gets real faster. <laughs> I'm just better. Okay, go. How big oh, did sorry. the Grinch's Squad. heart grow on Christmas? Three t- sizes. Three sizes. I know that. I just okay, can't. okay. Let's take a breath. Take a breath. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand there and get it resting. Calm down. Okay. Just feel the music. Okay, let's continue on. It. Okay, <laughs> last question on Grinch. <laughs> what did he carve for Christmas dinner? Mm. The roast beast. <gasps> roast beast. Roast beast. I know all these. Well, you got to okay, answer them. Fine. Okay. All right. Owen's getting serious now. He's moving away <laughs> from the mic. Um, well, he's okay. real serious. Okay, let's I go. I have three more. Three more. Um, in the movie Elf, what was the first rule of the Code of Elves? <sighs> wait, no. Always. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, no. I know. Um. I remember all three. I don't know. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear? Or is that well, the third? That is true, but this that wasn't the first. Uh, eat candy? No. <laughs> uh, candy canes, candy uh, syrup, and sugar. <laughs> That's the food that group. Was what was the food group? Is that the next question? No. Okay. Um, okay, the answer is treat every day like Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember the class idea. reciting it now. Wasn't it? Don't and then there's room for 
everyone on the nice, nice list. list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. okay, next. What are you supposed to do when you find yourself under the mistletoe? Oh. Kiss? <laughs> yeah, kiss. Oh, I wish we had celebratory music. I need a mistletoe in here. Yeah. Um, Everywhere. Well, there's Kimberly. like some kind of vine thing yeah. over there. Plants right all there. over the place. Yeah, okay. Okay, last one. Last this one. one might be tough for you Okay, guys. is this the final one? Yeah. Okay, so right now the score is six to one. However. I have two. He got oh, two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a bad scorekeeper. <laughs> I okay, knew about job. half We might need to review the tape like, here, folks. Has a longer arm. Okay. Six. Well, your hands are both right next to it, though. My hand is further away from So the, the current score is six to two. Do oh, we all wow, agree okay. on that? Okay. However, this, this one is worth six points. What a coincidence. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to get it. Anyway. Oh, I mean, based think hard. on Moon Racer and, <laughs> oh dear. I mean, where the Grinch's home is. Okay. Yeah, you guys are awful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, this one is Cole. about Frosty the Snowman, so think of that. Uh, what did he do? What, what happened when a hat was placed on his head? He came to life? That's so easy. No, I mean, like, the exact... The exact thing? Yeah. He jumped up. He came to what? No. Wait, what kind wait, of wait. Question Frosty is that? the Snowman. Yeah, when they placed the hat on his head in the song, what? He began to what, dance around. Yeah, that's it. I, I never oh, okay. even got a chance. Good job, Olivia. <laughs> Just one more time. Olivia won. I think Where this is, is your prize? this should be regular. Yeah, what is that? There's more to this See, song. Oh, you're probably gonna get this kay. prize too. I usually do prizes that everyone can. They're usually oh, she's like opening edible. it up. My headset's falling off. No, oh, no. It's a very pressured. All right. To open this. Oh, no, it oh it's, it's, it's uh, some little uh, 45s, little vinyl records. <laughs> right? For what? Hat, reading is a yeah. second I knew skill. It was that kind of <laughs> I should have taken <laughs> that like, tape on. <laughs> Olivia cheated. It's a. Uh, we can review the tape on. I don't think she cheated. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys open that thing? We only yeah. have so much time. <laughs> I should take And people have only have so much like patience. This? Whose idea was Who that? does that? Well, yeah. last one didn't Packaging count. in America today, folks. The last one didn't count. Last one didn't count. Well, I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> okay, well, it's okay. Still oh, six and to final two. one. You ready? Uh huh. How do you spell your name? <laughs> 12 <laughs> points. <laughs> 12 points. Go ahead. Um, o W. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you get a cookie Somewhat here. Concerning. What do we got here? Oh, there are cookies. Yeah. Gingerbread wait, wait, cookies. Let me have one of these. Gingerbread cookies give me heartburn. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, me yeah. too. Okay, ready? Ew. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, somebody changed his mind. He didn't want to win anyway. Somebody's got to talk here because now i got a gingerbread <laughs> cookie in my mouth. All I right. Just- Gettles High Desert Mechanical. Hey, thank you guys for sponsoring the show. Uh, if you need to get your heater fixed, I hope it's not during Christmas. That stinks for everybody, you know. But Gettles, G O E T T L S H D M dot com. That's Gettles H D M dot com. Um, also, let's see here. Zero res. Zero res of Northern. You, you, I've been saying this long, a while over Christmas. In laws come over or the family and they spill something or before they come over. Yeah. Nice to have everything. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of late now at this point, but after the fact, Zero Res of Northern Arizona, they get carpet cleaning, tile cleaning, all that. Uh, And the website is ZeroResNorthernArizona.com. Appreciate you guys for sponsoring the program. And um, one more here before we go to break, uh, of course, Namarco's Pizza. Awesome. Yeah, Best yeah. pizza, NamarcosPizza.com. And uh, three locations throughout Flagstaff. Go check that out. Oh, this is, sounds like Olivia playing piano. Um, That's not bad, right? Bang. This one, people, we actually recognize. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> and Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Welcome back, everyone. Merry Christmas. Uh, and I appreciate everyone that's been listening throughout the oh, for almost eight years now, going into eight years. Yeah. Appreciate all that. Um, hoping for a prosperous and, 
and, and good new year. With all the insanity we talk about all the time, we can we can look at all the good that's happened. And, uh, you know, I, yeah. I think that most people can point to more. If you think about it, you still eating those cookies, the ginger snaps? I told you we were coming them, back. But I tried to yeah. chew very quietly, is, okay? I hope, uh, you know, in the new year we can finish this huge <laughs> tin of ginger snap fingers. Um, I, real quick, before I run out of time and don't get to thank our, the rest of our great sponsors, um, Allstate Insurance Agency. We've got a new cup from Eric and Lisa Boatner great company there if you're looking for insurance uh just wireless zach and his team if you want to get your smartphone repaired right there on milton avenue as you come as you come in the flagstaff um also rob and elise out at timberline and their whole gang out there um they do an awesome job yeah everyone there yeah. is so yeah. super helpful and knowledgeable and and man i appreciate rob and them fighting for first amendment rights and things like that so and second amendment and second amendment and multiple other ones as well what do you hope to get for christmas owen you're so easy. You're like, mom will ask, well, what do you want for Christmas? He's like, oh, maybe just some hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> right? And like German sausages. German sausages, yeah. yeah. a package of like all the different mustards. Um, hmm. Strange cat. <laughs> easy stuff. More camo. More plain books. Yeah, some camo would oh, be cool. Plain books, yeah. You need more camo? I need more. No. Yeah. I need more plain books. You need books more love. regular clothes. <laughs> Owen um, is an expert on planes. I mean, he's like, he finds these obscure planes that nobody <laughs> knows about. And we're like driving through, um, you know, when we we're heading towards Las Vegas there recently. Where was that? In, out in the, Barstow, California. Yeah, it's out of Barstow. He's like, oh, this is where the XB-49 cra crashed in 19 whatever. And, the you know. 11 CT-46. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the XYZ-204 part came undone there. and. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you just saying last night that. too he has all these like little, small model ones little metal ones and he can close his eyes and just be like feel it with his fingers and yep. know which one f-35 yeah produced and by it, this company with engines yeah. that produce this many foot pounds of whatever Forty-one thousand <laughs> pounds of thrust. <laughs> see? <laughs> see so yeah there you go might be a future for you and all that stuff one more. Okay. I want that wooden AK from the cow ranch. Oh, there's a wooden. Cool. There's a wooden AK forty seven. So it's um the same as the one I have in Camp Verde. You know that rubber band gun. Oh yeah, but it's an AK. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. got those, a couple huh? of those wooden rubber yeah. band shooter yeah. things. Yeah. Except one of them broke recently. We broke like all of them. But yeah, we that were shopping broke. and saw one. the AK. Oh, okay, there uh, you go. Look alike or whatever. Throw that in the Christmas so. bag. Yeah, and they get get you a new AR BB gun. You know, that's what kind of family we are, I guess. <laughs> Guns, <laughs> mo, sausage, mustard. <laughs> that's about it. What about you, Olivia? Oh, I You're don't a know. One. I'm bad at answering that question. I know. We've noticed. It's been challenging. <laughs> it's not my fault that I don't want a lot of things. That's it? That's all you got? Hang on. I don't know. <laughs> I want books. <laughs> I want summer sausage. Yeah. So good. Summer sausage. See, no one will ever give me a sausage. Like, that won't happen in my lifetime. Yeah. I'm just going to get you in like just to prove you wrong. Yeah. Like, hmm. huh. <laughs> okay. Well, you? Angela? Uh, For those of you just Well, listening. you didn't prepare me to answer that. Well, yeah. Um, actually, let me get out the list here because I still actually need to get you stuff. I told well, I guess you it's I was a little late now. solar lights for the... <laughs> For our deck. Solar lights, okay. All right. Yeah, the little Check. stringed up ones. Stringed up solar lights, okay, yeah. Uh, that's all I got right now. <laughs> see, see, you say I'm bad. That's it. I'd like a dump trailer. <laughs> I've been looking at those recently so I can um, load it with my tractor I got last year and be able to haul things around and you, not have to unload it. What? Do you want a tiller? <laughs> a, a tiller. I'd like oh. a, a tiller for our, our farming. Mm -hmm. that'd be good because last year we used ripper claws on the tractor and uh -huh. um owen and i pretty much owen and i ripped the ground by hand to prepare the field but the fields are getting kind of large now mm -hmm. and we're expanding so um that would be good um i've been asking for an airplane for a while I don't wow think you that know that's coming. me <laughs> much, do you <laughs> I want a micro light. They're only about uh, four thousand bucks. No, I don't need anything. I've got everything I need. Honestly, I don't need the commercialism. I would like some socks though that fit. <laughs> oh my god, just socks too. What is it with you guys? They're manufacturing the socks they're so smaller. Tight. They're they're cheaping out on the material. I think is is what's going on. I think that's what's what's been happening. I like the stretchy ones because they're easy to put on. They're okay. also easy to Moving slingshot on. on. <laughs> that's not. More than you ever needed to know about my family. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, we hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We're back with all new shows on January 2nd. 
And uh, looking forward to that the surprise music here. Oh, this one ain't bad. See? We got good stuff here. Whoa. We got good stuff here, too. Sorry, it's just the way we got to go. So we got to roll like that. All right. That's good. Everyone, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. We'll, we'll see you and next year. year. And a happy new year. Take care. See you soon. It's actually a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Or the cello. Oh, let's it's speed like this up dark. a little bit. Huh. And we let it roll. Everyone, Merry Christmas.